Welcome to the Word presentation on problem 617. This has to do with bottled water consumption. And there will also be an accompanying Excel video for this. In this particular case, we're in part A. We're asked what is the probability that someone in the United States consumes more than 33 gallons. So in that particular case, the average is 42.1. The Z value is negative 0 0.91. And it's they haven't shown you how the function in Excel to calculate that. And so in this particular case, you want the area above to the right. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take and use the again the Excel function and again if you really need to go back and look at the Excel for 6.1 where I set this all up I will also explain it again in 6.7 but the formulas will be pre-done which is what we did in 6.1 you'll probably want to set up your own spreadsheet for assignments and tests based on the information you saw in 6.1 so that you can just use it over and over again and so you want the areas above, you want the areas below, you want the areas between, and you want the areas outside. Those are the four possibilities. Below, above, between, and below and above. So you can see in part B, what we want is we have the X value from, the, this is, gives us the range from 10 to 20. So what is the probability somebody consumes between 10 and 20 gallons? We find that Z score for 10, and of course it's negative because it's to the left of the mean. The Z value for 20 is also negative at negative 2.21, standard deviations to the left. The area from 0 to 10, or from zero to a Z score of negative, or I guess negative infinity to negative 3.21 for the Z score is an area of 0 0.0007. The area from negative infinity, if you're looking at Z scores, or from zero, if you're looking at the area, is 0 0.0136 for 20. And then of course, if 10 is 0 0.007 and 20 is 0 0.0136, what you have, the difference between the two is between. So this is a range. Next, in part C, what is the probability that someone in the United States consumes less than 10 gallons? We just did this. It's in part B. So you can see that they've done a snip of the uh, spreadsheet. So we don't even have to do any new calculations. The calculation is 0 0.0007. Now, in Part D, 99% of the people in the United States consume less than how many gallons of water? So in this case, we're trying to find the X value. You can see the formula. The Z value at 99% is 2.33 to the right. And when we plug the number into the formula and calculate, the... Uh, result is an X value of 65.36 minus 42.1 all divided by 10 is 2.33. So again, there will be, and you can see the, the, it says the answers we're using the Excel compute worksheet from the normal workbook, and they'll be slightly different than the table. We're not using tables. Most people use tables uh, in the old fashioned way of doing things. And compare the answers to problem number 11, which I'm also going to do. And you'll see in that problem, the per capita consumption of bottled water in China is much lower than the per capita consumption of bottled water in the United States. So we're going to do problem number 11. It's on the list to do. And then you can compare. So the United States has a per capita consumption of bottled water that is much higher than China, or China is much lower than the United States consumption of bottled water. 